Hello again, this is Mama Nita. I wanted to show you one of my rather chunky junk journals. Um, cover the front with a sample, so like an upholstery or drapery sample that someone gave me. And I embellished it with some lace. You can see my glue showed through on my ribbon, which made me kind of sad. So I'm probably going to have to put some lace there as well. And I got a ribbon tie. And I used all kinds of odds and ends that were left over from other projects. A little watercolor that I'd done with Hubby, and it was just going to be tough because it was just a little experiment. And I thought, I'll stick it in here. Let it bring me a little happiness when I open this thing. There's envelopes on the inside flaps, front and back, so that I can tuck extra things in here. Notepads. <laughs> Picture of me my daughter took. And I have all kinds of odds and ends in here. A tag from some product. Put a pa piece of paper on the back so I can journal. Stick it in here. Kind of fun. Seeing it free fall here and there. And product card inside of a white sack. Used it as a page and pocket at the same time. My own homemade paper clips. Again, here's another one. This one I used um, hot glue in a mold. It was red, glittery hot glue, and just a little bit of ribbon there. Actually, I think that's a piece of fabric, perhaps. A lot of scraps, so it's time to use them. Things that had gotten printed off and didn't really care for. Notepads. Sheets for notepads, stickers that come in the mail. Just all kinds of odds and ends. And what else are we going to do with them? Hate to see them get tossed when I can use them creatively. Somebody sent this to me, I think, in some happy mail. A hubby's business card. An image from a magazine. And fortune cookie fortune I made lots of room to journal in this one I really need to start using it I also had some scraps of fabric when my auntie passed away there was some scraps that I inherited and I thought oh, I love bicycles so I started using some of the scraps in here just to embellish the corners a little bit Paper dolls. I love paper dolls. And here's a, I put it on the, the envelope and stuck it in here. Made a tag. Let me tag. This is just one of those foam stickers. I used other stickers in here. Lots of stickers. Things that my, my daughter made for me. And foam sticker. I'm getting out of the image here. Camera range. Another paper doll. Try to just color coordinate my pages a little bit because I like that. But there's images cut from magazines and envelope junk mail and things that were left over. <laughs> there's the negative basically from cutting out some flowers. And there's stickers, things from coloring books and coloring pages, more fabric dotted Swiss. Now that takes me back to my old childhood. Right there. Dotted Swiss Easter dresses. Stamped image of a hummingbird. Kind of going quickly here. So it doesn't become too long. I love these little flower faces. And now these images that are stamped, the conservation department has a day when kids can come in and play with different stamps that they have. And um, I ended up with several cards and bookmarks. So I'm just a big kid. <laughs> they know I'm going to come in and play too. Take my granddaughter and daughter in there. It's a perfect excuse to get to play with their stamps. Again, there's some of that fabric. Fabulous fabric. It's got that velvety texture to it. It's so wonderful. And just pages that were left over. 
more envelopes, product cards. Here's something I got in the mail. I don't even know why. Advertising something on the back. And this one has, I think, five signatures in it. It's quite chunky. I don't know if I will continue to add anything more to it, but it's time for me to get it out and start actually using it. As the sun colors the flowers, art colors life. John Lovick. Little quote. I love quotes. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. God bless.